welcome to Friday Night Frights. Yes, it's back, finally. It's been a little while. Been doing some other projects and stuff, but Friday Night Frights is back. And it's a little different this time. Uh, I remember last time I used to get some YouTubers on there and talk about their favorite franchises or just some of their favorite horror movies. But now it's turned into a review show for a little while. And then later on, might change it again. So tonight we're going to be talking about 1979's Don't Go in the house. First of all, I got this on VHS and I don't remember exactly when I got it. I just know I've had it for probably three or four years. Uh, Might have got it from Metal Murph. Might have got it from Scotty Slasher. I can't remember exactly where I got it from, but it's been sitting on the shelf for like four years now, maybe close to five, and I just haven't got around to watching it. So I decided to go ahead and watch it and it actually surprised me quite a bit. You got this guy named Donnie. Now at first, he gets in a fight at work and stuff, and he's a little pissed off, and he, he, he just seems a little off. Uh, he goes home and finds his mother dead. Of course, they're living in this really, really big freaking house. It kind of reminds you of Psycho in a way, because he's hearing these voices and stuff. And he finds his mom dead, and um, instead of calling the authorities or whatever, he thinks about calling them at first, and then he doesn't. And then he decides to keep her there. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, sounds like Psycho a lot of ways. So he starts calling in work, you know, every day for like a week. And uh, his mother's sitting there dead, but he still hears these voices and stuff. It's crazy. Really big ass house. Psycho, just like I said. Later on, it kind of turns into Psycho meets the Exterminator. And we'll get a little bit to that here in a minute, uh, why I say the Exterminator. If you've never seen that movie, check that one out too. But yes, he starts... Uh, going around town and stuff and decides to uh, pick up a woman and uh, I don't know what's going on at first and uh, he says that you know he'll give her a ride or at a bar or whatever and uh, then all of a sudden I gotta stop by the house I gotta give my mom her medicine stuff she's a little out there she's sick stuff like that so he gets the girl there and uh, then what happens well you find out he has this extra room in the house that's uh, fireproof and uh, he chains the girl up and pours some gasoline on her and hangs her from the ceiling and tortures her. That's where the exterminator comes in. It's got some uh, wild stuff going on in there. But like I said, after a few more days, he keeps doing this. Uh, his boss at work decides to uh, let Bobby know, his friend, and uh, says, hey, you're going to fire, get fired if uh, you don't show up to work. So uh, he decides to go over and check it out. But he goes and gets his priest. And he says stuff's going on. He don't know what you know what's going on, and he just needs some help. And they go there, and of course they find two chicks that he had uh, tried to get ready to kill, and he didn't. But it's just crazy altogether. But not only does he hear the voices from his mother, uh, the women that he's killing, he's just not just you know burying them or whatever in the backyard. He's putting them in a room, and they're making a circle in chairs, and he starts hearing voices from them. And then sooner or later, he starts seeing them in sections of the house and stuff like they're coming back after him. It's really wild. Not giving away the ending or anything. You have to just check it out. But don't go in the house. I think it should be called a little different. Don't get in the car because that's what he usually do. Uh, pick up women in the car. Uh, but it says you have been warned. Uh, this movie, I don't know if it's been put on DVD or not. There's the back of it. But uh, I did see on Amazon, I think, where it's being released on Blu-ray eventually. But uh, I got it on VHS, and uh, it really surprised me. It's a really good slasher. It's also on Prime Video, I believe. You should check it out on there if you don't want to buy it. Some people are like that. They don't buy physical media anymore. But if you can find it on Blu-ray or VHS, or you have it in your collection for five years and never seen it like I do, pop that baby in and watch it. Because Donnie, he's out there. But, you know, just like Norman, you know, with his mother and everything, uh, give me your thoughts. If you've seen this movie, give me a comment at the bottom and let me know. Or if you're interested in seeing it and thinks it sounds good, uh, it is pretty damn good. Don't go in the house. Yes, 1979. Thanks for watching Friday Night Frights and stay tuned till next week when I have another review. Till next time.